If you're looking for replacement game cases for your N64 cartridges, then look no farther than Rose Color Gaming. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you a video on these replacement game cases. Essentially, as a collector, there are certain items that I think are way too expensive for me to ever get my hands on, and that includes a boxed version of Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. Now, this game sells for an insane amount of money, and this isn't a legitimate copy. You can tell my Blockbuster sticker is kind of almost falling off on the back. But a boxed copy of this sells for about $2,000 US dollars. So a box alone is going to cost me $1,000, and I thought that's never going to happen, at least not when I'm only spending. The most I've ever spent on one item is the Nintendo Switch console, so I'm not willing to spend $1,000 on a N64 box. Even though I do want it, maybe I'll trade for it one day. So, what that led me to was I found these cases, and these cases do look absolutely outstanding. So they are from Rose Colored Gaming, again, link in the description below. These have a high quality presentation. They're scanned from the Cover Art Project, so they do look absolutely wonderful, and they did touch them up. They also kept everything that was on the back of this the exact same. Inside these, you have a place for your manual to go, you have a place for the cartridge of the game, and you also have a place for a memory card, or the third-party memory cards, this one's a little bit taller. So they're very high quality in terms of presentation. I feel like they're really durable, because not only are these made of plastic, I think they're polypropylene or something like that, but these are absolutely never, they're not going to degrade anytime soon. If you know N64 boxes, a lot of them, all of them are made of cardboard and those things you can easily crush you can dent them you can damage them and they're not going to last all that long of course they will last if you keep them in really good condition but these ones are plastic they're almost like vhs cases as well so these ones are going to last a long time but also they're pretty inexpensive they're four dollars each for these cases and if you buy them if you buy all of them because they do have all 296 available for the nintendo 64 then it's going to cost you a little bit less than four dollars each but if you're only looking for a few, then $4 each to get a replacement case, rather than spending $1,000 on something like Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. Now the main one I just want to compare right now, just look at the quality of this image. This is Mario Kart 64. So Mario Kart 64 I'm going to compare to the actual box that it had originally, and you can see how good and vibrant that image does look. They did touch up the bottom here and put some of the information right on there as before, I guess, it was on the side. So they did change that a little bit because the shape is about the same. The size of these in terms of height, maybe I should flip this around so it goes the same way. The size and height is about the exact same, and the width is about the same as well, except the, I don't know what to call this, maybe the width or the height or the length is a little bit different. So one dimension is a little bit different than the others. Now taking a look at the back of this, they did keep the back the exact same as it was, they just moved some things around. So if you take a look at the text on both of these, the text is the exact same, like I said. They even kept the barcode that was in the bottom right hand corner, they put it in the bottom left hand corner, and the barcode is the exact same too. So they look really fantastic, they look professional, and on the inside here, I do have my Mario Kart instruction manual. Underneath that, I have my insert, I have an official memory card that stays right here, and I also have my cartridge for Mario Kart 64 that you can keep in really good condition, and it's away from dust, and it's not just collecting clutter or dust or getting damaged in my collection, and it does look really professional. Now, the reason why I got some of these was because for something like Conker's Bad Fur Day, I haven't been able to pick up a box for this quite yet, and a box for this usually costs almost $100, and I do want to get that at some point. I don't have the instruction manuals for Conker's Bad Fur Day yet either, but I do want to get that at some point. So for now, and especially for Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut, or for Bomberman 64, the second attack, I now have these cases that I can use to display my collection. And like I said, since they have all 296, there's a lot of these available that look really good. So here is Majora's Mask, just to let you take a look at some more of these. There's also Mario Party, and Mario Party games have been going up and up in price. I talked about that recently with my Mario got my Mario 64 pricing guide series, GoldenEye, fantastic game, and some really vibrant colors from some Pokemon games like Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium, and Pokemon Stadium 2. Now a lot of these are incredibly hard to track down for the box. So for $4 each, I thought this was a 
smart buy or a good purchase, or at least to keep the collection in really good shape and condition. Now, if you stayed for this long in the video, I'm gonna let you know that I am doing a giveaway. So the giveaway is for three of these boxes. The only ones that are off limits are Conker's Bad Fur Day, Clay Fighter's Sculptor's Cut, and Bomberman's Second Attack. But all of the other ones are up for grabs. I'm giving away three to one winner in order to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is be a subscriber to this channel, like the video, and comment below what are your recent thoughts on the collecting market? Do you think prices for the N64 or other games are going down? Do you think all the prices are increasing? And maybe when did you get into collecting? Answer any of those questions as a comment below. Subscribe and like this video. And then I'll be doing the giveaway roughly in two weeks time for this as well. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, Go collect them all, keep smiling while gaming, and go check out Rose Colored Gaming for these $4 game cases for the N64.